Glasgow Coma Scale was developed in that city in 1974. It's a simple way to assess the level of consciousness of a patient. It's very widely used. The scale gives a rating between 3, comatose, to 15, completely awake and alert. And it measures patient's response in three areas. Eyes, verbal and movement. And a series of very easy tests are performed and a score given to each one. Before carrying out any of the tests though, it's important to check the patient, see if there's anything that might affect their ability to respond. There's no sense asking somebody to move their arm, for example, if it's broken. If there's any area that can't be scored, it's marked as not tested. Once the patient is checked, the eye responses can be assessed. If they're just looking around and moving their eyes, then spontaneous is marked and gives a score of 4. If they're not moving their eyes naturally, then ask them, open your eyes. If they respond and do so, then score it with three. To speech. If there's still no reaction, then pressure can be applied, usually at the tip of the fingernail. A hard squeeze for up to 10 seconds. Try it yourself, it kind of hurts. If they react to that by looking at you, then you will score two. If there's no response at all, then they score just one. A patient's verbal responses can be tested in a similar way. So they'll be asked simple questions. What's your name? What month is it? Where are you? If they get the answers correct, that's five points. They're orientated. If they answer but they're wrong or muddled, then their score is confused. Four points. If it's just single words that come out, then words. If they just groan, then sounds. If there's no response at all, then just one mark is scored. The same process is carried out to look for motor responses too. So a patient will just be asked to do something, and usually in two parts, so stick out your tongue and then put it back in again, or squeeze my hand and then let go. If they can do this, they score six and can obey commands. If they can't, then some kind of central stimulus is given to look for reactions. The most common one is a trapezius pinch. If you feel along your collarbone just here, you can get your thumb just in front. It's like a Vulcan death grip, I suppose, from Star Trek fans. Squeeze it hard. It should hurt. Is there some kind of movement in response to that? Another area it can be used is the supraorbital notch. You can find yours by feeling along the ridge of your eye orbit under your eyebrow. You'll feel a small sort of dip of the bone as it sort of curves up. That's the notch. You probably don't want to be squeezing that quite hard because it hurts, but it'd be pressed with increasing pressure for up to 10 seconds to look for a patient's response. If a person reacts to move the pain away and stop the test, then they are localising and they'll score five. If the arm moves just a little bit, it might be a normal flexion. Perhaps they jab their finger away when you did that other test on the fingernail. If there's just a slight movement but it's a bit kind of unfocused, then that would be a, an abnormal flexion. In some patients, the arm might actually stretch out rather than trying to get away from the pain. That would be an extension. And clearly, if there's no response at all, they score none and just one point, as with the other tests. So noting these different responses in those three areas will give you an overall rating between 3 and 15. But it's important to mark down what each of the scores were in the three different areas because that tells you quite a lot about the condition of the patient. And recording the coma scale over time, we'll be able to see if things are improving or if there's deterioration. Maybe one area was strong before but becomes weaker. So that's the Glasgow Coma Scale, a very simple and very effective test and very useful way of recording the level of consciousness in patients. For more information on our live interactive science and engineering shows, check out our website and connect with us through Facebook and Twitter.